Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Nick Shamsar from a sales engineer with MEND. Today's video is part of a series highlighting features and benefits of the MEND platform. And today's video is going to be focused on MEND CLI container scanning. What I'm going to show you today is a result of a scan of a Docker image. And what we're going to do is we're going to scan, scan Docker images and find perhaps a vulnerable operating system package to ensure the security and integrity of the software that we're building and deploying secure. Docker image is often built on top of a base or OS image that includes many pre-installed packages and dependencies. And these packages and dependencies could potentially have vulnerabilities that can be exploited. Therefore, by scanning the Docker image, we're going to be ensuring that we know about the risks that are in there. And by identifying those risks and potential security risks by extension, we can take appropriate action to mitigate them. What I'm also going to show you is we have the ability to also scan the secrets inside the container. And the example today has uh, a weak secret in there that we will expose. Without further ado, uh, I'm going to get into the methodology of the scan, which is going to be scanning in an Azure pipeline. And then we're going to review the results in our UI. So as you can see from my Azure pipeline, we're going to be triggering on a master branch for this particular uh, this pipeline. I'm going to be using Ubuntu pool. But what you also will, might notice from our other videos is the only thing really change in this from an SCA scan or a SAS scan is line 14, which was just saying mend image vulnerable web DV, D, DVWA. And that's because we're using our unified CLI to conduct this scan. I'm using the vulnerable uh, web DVWA. EVWA, primarily because it's deliberately vulnerable and it has a secret that we can expose in there and show you it as well. So I'm going to run this pipeline and you'll join me shortly to view the results of it. So our pipeline successfully completed and I've come over to my MEN dashboard. On the top left, to go to the cloud native view, put this icon here, you can see what SCA and cloud native. You can toggle between both, I'm going to go into cloud native. And when that loads, we've got the overview page. So on the left-hand side, we've got our top 10 risky images. The main function of this page is for you to get quick and full visibility of your cloud native assets and their risk posture. I can move over to images, which is the second tab. And this is the image inventory of the organization. You can find all your image scan groups by their repositories with their risk posture, vulnerability, vulnerability statistics. And from the third tab, this is a vulnerability summary of the organization. It contains all discovered vulnerabilities across all the images. The results are grouped by CV ID, and it shows the number of images that are affected by that CV. If I go to images, I'm going to, have to view a particular image that we scanned earlier, you can see it here in the middle of the page. If I click on the actual there, see some metadata, the tags, the registry. And on the right hand side, we've got some further, further information in the sub view. I can expand this, and we've got the full features results set for this particular scan. You can see here in the breakdown, not only in numerical value percentage, also by color to make it easy to identify how bad posture of this particular applet, of this particular container is. And as I go down, we've got all the vulnerabilities here listed out for us. So we could do things like show any vulnerabilities with a fix, which might filter them down, hide operating system vulnerabilities if you want to focus on perhaps um, your application layer in there. You can export to CV here as well. And give you the different layers, some package data, and the a secret here that we've run it. So we've got an asymmetric private key and this particular file. If I go over back to the vulnerabilities tab, if you wanted to look at a particular image name or a vulnerability ID, perhaps like a zero day, for example, you type that CV in and that'll filter it down to see if you have it in your organization. So you can see we have other other options as well in terms of filtering, image tag, 
severity, etc. So that's the end of the video. I've gone over the features that the document contains, can it? And I hope you find value in what we've shown you today. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe as well. My name is Nick, name's Nick Champsford. Thank you for viewing.